everyone. It's Gordon Einstein. I am with two of my favorite people. This is, an, I guess you could say, an impromptu Crypto Wednesdays, but it's Thursday. But don't get caught up in these details. It's not relevant. The relevant detail is that I'm here in Monaco at the Sir Anthony Rotoso Family Office Investment Summit with Brad Desar, my good friend. Yes. And David Orbit, my other good friend. Hello, hello. I have two friends. And these are my, so, no, these are my great friends. So we have to be good friends. You have to be good By friends. default. You, By default. One and two is like top two friends. And I'd say that this interview is starting off exactly as I would expect <laughs> giving these two people, which is fine. Okay, so uh, it's been a long time, you know, and it's been a long time just because of COVID and because of life and because of travel and everything else. But I hear that you have a recent new exciting addition to Beyond Enterprises. Um, I'll pass it to you, Brad, first. Can you tell us a little bit about Beyond, Beyond Enterprises and then we'll we'll kind of reveal the Easter egg? Yes, let's do it. Yeah. So um, thank you for having us, Gordon. I'm Brad Yassar. I'm the founder of Beyond Enterprises. We um, started Beyond Enterprises in 2012 as an advisory firm and through trials and tribulations, it uh, became what it is now, which is um, an advisory and incubator of uh, uh, blockchain and other leading edge uh, technologies. Um, the, the genesis of Beyond was to help impactful projects, projects that are going to change a lot of lives in a positive way um, and do it through guidance and advisory and, and the experience that the advisor brings. Uh, we saw that good advice without good execution didn't um, yield the results we wanted. So started adding execution components to the business, which led to beyond growing from just an advisory to doing development, doing marketing, having partners that uh, we can refer on the legal side, as well as uh, when... Uh, I, I hear good attorneys are important to the success of a project. Yes, yes. That's just are. a rumor. And the only reason I picked up on that is just, I don't know why. <laughs> very no, no relation at all. Very important. But please go on. But yeah, and then evolving into the blockchain space, we added tokenomics and modeling and more uh, design work, both on the biz dev and user acquisition side to help projects from start to finish, basically. Fantastic. And who is this fine gentleman sitting next to you? He is fine. Um, and I'm here with David Orban. And uh, David and I have been friends as well as um, colleagues working on uh, several projects together um, for quite a few years now. David? Yeah, so... Uh, Welcome. Thank you. And uh, the, the big uh, reveal uh, today mm -hmm. is that I am joining uh, Beyond Enterprises as uh, Managing Advisor. So, the, uh, number one, congratulations. Thank you. Number two, we'll get the background of how that happened in a moment, but the title Managing Advisor, unpack that for us. Well, uh, uh, Beyond is an advisory firm, mm -hmm. and uh, it means that I have a certain seniority, a certain operational role, and uh, I aim to um, ease the burden that uh, now uh, falls on, uh, on Brad uh, in uh, making sure that the projects are successful, that Beyond uh, flourishes uh, even even beyond uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, the the degree that it already had. Interesting. Now you're. I can understand why Brad wants you. That's clear. But it's, it's not like my impression of you is not like you're wanting for work or for opportunities or for uses of your time. So of course. this is. This, I mean, I would kind of assume a significant portion of your day, if not all your working day put towards Beyond Enterprises. How do you, what, what was, how did this, I guess, what was the offer? How did this offer come? And then what, what made you specifically decide to do this? So uh, we, um, as as uh, Brett said, uh, have known each other for many years. And um, I always like to keep in touch with people. And I always like to have, uh, you know, update calls and say, what is going on? Uh, what are the things that you're working on? What are the, the opportunities? So it really developed over the course of a few phone calls or Zoom calls rather, mm -hmm. 
Uh, actually, I had a joke in mind uh, to, to play out uh, yeah. in this recording, mm -hmm. which was supposed to be me just being on mute. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess uh, I, I blew it. I'm not a good uh, uh, comedian. Or okay. I, I we'll, have we'll, take, we'll take it as a given. That. That's okay. <laughs> uh, so over the course of a few uh, Zoom calls, uh, we actually realized that, uh, uh, one, uh, I had uh, affinity and, and a desire to, to provide uh, value to Beyond, to current and future Beyond uh, clients, uh, as well as uh, Brad was uh, enthusiastic to a sufficient degree uh, to make it all happen. I'm trying to visualize the Brad in enthusiasm mode because he always <laughs> seems to be a very cool cat. So he, he, he definitely has, as a matter of fact, at breakfast this morning, I asked him whether he would define himself as stoic. And, and he was like, why? And so I had to no, tell what, him what, why. What he, what he actually said is, I'm unaffected by your question. I'm going to use that. Are you stoic? I'm unaffected. <laughs> That's a, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to use that at home. So, you see, and you're, um, pardon me if I trip up on the name, but the Network Society, yes? Yes. That's, that's your baby. And so Network Society really has always been uh, a long-term concept and a long-term project which uh, has um, had uh, a lot of uh, ways of, of, of growing, some of which have succeeded, others uh, have not. The concept of Network Society obviously uh, is as alive as, as ever, mm -hmm. and the brand beyond enterprises takes on the ability to operationally execute a lot of uh, the underlying uh, ultimate aims. Um, so it really see, there's actually a, it's, so I remember you, you have a manifesto that I read yeah and thank we you. talked about it yes. uh, when you were on crypto Wednesdays before yes and I, I think I'm hearing you saying that there's perhaps a natural synergy or integration or catalyze catalyzation maybe between the ideology or thought process behind network society and beyond am I hearing that correctly that and, absolutely it, that is absolutely your, correct in the sense that um, what both Brad and and I feel is a responsibility to deliver on the promise of blockchain as a fundamental force for good, for empowerment, for enfranchising billions of people. And that is what we are doing through the projects that uh, uh, we help and advise uh, with Beyond, the projects that we incubate. Uh, and uh, that is uh, fulfilling uh, the uh, uh, aspirations and the opportunities that I uh, articulated in the Network Society Manifesto. Interesting. And then, Brad, let me throw this to you. The, David used the word incubate. Is there, what's your filtering process or what's your decision process of getting involved? Is it all comers that they pay the bill? Is there, do you evaluate them in advance? Like, how, how do you know whether you're going to work with someone? Because obviously, I, I think what I'm hearing is that resources are finite. Your time is finite. You know, you have broad shoulders, clearly, you know, big guy. But, you know, there's, I was seeing a non-stoic smile that we're going to have to work on that. So, but, uh, no, getting aside, like, how do you choose your engagements? How do you optimize it? What, what's the process? Well, I want to go back to Network Society since you brought it up. Um, so you're hijacking this interview? Yes, cool. I am. Go for it. A little background, um, you probably don't know, but David had so graciously included me uh, as a partner in Network Society uh, Labs, and, and we had done a lot of projects together. That's why when the conversation started, it was a very easy decision uh, process to see that we should do something together and uh, he would be a great addition to the team. And uh, It's almost you know, like you got the band back together again. Almost. 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 almost we're, the we're missing the drummer and the guitar. So the drummer always <laughs> dies. You know that. But then we're good. Yeah. We're good. Okay. Um, so, 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 yeah, it was, it was a natural progression. And, and, again, it would be exciting to deliver on his manifesto through uh, the work we do with, uh, with Beyond. Going back to your question, our selection process um, is bifurcated. 
if it's an idea for incubation, whether it comes from internal team members or an external uh, friend or a potential partner, we evaluate it as such which means the company structure, the uh, economic uh, distribution, mm -hmm. if there's any value created, has to reflect that. That's a very simple process. If the idea makes sense, if it uh, can potentially do a lot of good and uh, make a positive impact, we consider it. On the advisory side of things, again, it depends on the project and its yeah. needs. There's a branching out there, pure advisory, where they may say, um, they want to have me on the board, David on the board, you on the board, so, something like very limited amount of in, in involvement and mm -hmm. the core founders of the project are solid serial entrepreneurs. They're well funded. They know what they're doing. They just want a sounding board. They want some, uh, someone to go to to validate the ideas that they already know are are good ideas they just want some validation so that's the light advisory model and for those projects we just need to um, understand the mission vision of goal of the team their ability to execute whether based on their past performance or our relationships and that goes into that path <clears throat> the most not complicated but um work we need to do is if a project comes and they have multiple needs mm -hmm. and they want to actually be on to get involved as a partner and take on some of the company functions, whether it be development, marketing, legal strategy, biz dev, whatever that is, uh, we have a three step process for that uh, in assessing what uh, what needs to happen. It's not purely uh, transactional it's not driven by can they pay the bills mm -hmm. at the same time beyond enterprises is a for-profit organization it's not a charity so if we see that it's a great project but it's going to go off a cliff and there's nothing we can do to get it back on track with the um, av available resources and time then of course it's not a good fit for us because we know at some point there's nothing we can do to change the outcome all other scenarios, what we do is we do a free uh, initial consultation just to quickly assess what, what they're doing, better understand it. Then uh, we schedule a meet and greet call, a follow on call, which is has the right team members based on the initial assessment. So if they say we really need an amazing attorney, I would be calling you and saying, hey, this amazing attorney should be on this call because he's going to give valuable legal insights uh, in the second call. But the second call is basically designed for us to come up with a proposal uh, and assess their needs. So we look at what do they need, development, marketing, biz dev, and we pull in the right team members at that stage and come up with a proposal based on the budget discussions as well as the need. At that point, potential partners have an opportunity to see the scope, see the budget, agree to it, not agree to it, move forward, or suggest adjustments. If we miss something or if there's something that they thought they needed but feel that's not uh, necessary at that stage, we make the adjustments. Once everything is uh, uh, on paper, mm -hmm. we either engage or not. But it's a very quick, simple process because we don't want to waste time and um, we Fair understand. Enough. So in our few minutes remaining, we, we're just entered now, the second half, uh, 2021. Um, today. Well, today, like just, no, just now. Somewhere in the world is just now. No, today. Um, what's the 21 vision for Beyond? And just rat tat tat go. Um, the 2021 vision for Beyond was uh, we took on some very sizable projects, both that we incubated and that came to us uh, last year, surprisingly. Um, 2020 has been uh, a phenomenal year for us. And uh, I realized that I have no more bandwidth left for any further expansion on the beyond side. Uh, on, the, on the contrary, with uh, one of our projects, Equify, I took on a daily operational role. So that even um, further declined uh, my, my ability to focus on beyond things. And when we were talking to David, I was sharing that experience that uh, because of the success of last year, now this year is going to be a much more muted year just because there's no bandwidth. And we realized that with him coming on board, 
we can actually expand those capabilities, increase the bandwidth, because as far as resources go, we still have resources. The bottleneck is at the top, at the advisory level. At the, uh, uh, so let me switch to David, which yes. is of course the reason that the announcement for, and the purpose behind, you know, now that we're done with Brad, no, just kidding. by the way, everyone, I'm good friends with Brad. Um, your 2021 vision, your 21 and 22 vision, what, how do you see beyond yourself, beyond beyond and the, the wider ecosystem just kind of paint us a picture? So um, we are both firm believers in the ultimate success of uh, blockchain technologies to profoundly transform the world, make it more efficient, more inclusive, more just. Uh, giving opportunities to people who have never had opportunities for no fault of their own. What is wonderful is that Beyond has the ability to fulfill that step by step, delivering value to the projects that are aligned with that vision and that are powered by enthusiastic, talented and dedicated uh, uh, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that recognize uh, what a tremendous value they can receive in working together with a firm like Beyond that can help them. And uh, the, um, both the, the, the limit and the ultimate source of success mm -hmm. is the fact that experience, uh, integrity, uh, capacity to deliver uh, are things that matter. And those are Definitely. the qualities that uh, uh, Brad uh, imbued in, in Beyond and that he embodied. And those are the qualities that He's I right now. not, only want, to, not yeah. only want to preserve, but I want to hopefully multiply uh, with, with me joining. Fantastic. I you. wish you wouldn't talk over David so we can cut all the <laughs> tomfoolery. Tomfoolery? <laughs> I'm going to, I want a, the Tom Foley enhanced show this time. So do you see, are there phases to this unfolding? Is, is there some initial work? You know, we, um, I mean, like timeline. There is a, there is like, a, yeah, well, uh, uh, absolutely. And, and, and he's already ready to fire me if I don't deliver on those uh, uh, timelines and those milestones. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, uh, first 90 days of any engagement or you have a, you have a grace period beat a hundred okay or no 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 on the contrary are are the most crucial because uh, you you get to know the team very deeply but you also get to be known by the team right mm -hmm. whether you are a jerk whether you are someone they can work with it is or just it plain is, intimidating well yeah uh, and and uh, uh, definitely uh, I see uh, Q4 of this year as already something to, to start um, uh, working with, with new clients and, and new engagements, if not sooner. 2022 will be, I think, a, a key year, not only for Beyond, but for uh, the, uh, the uh, blockchain industry. Uh, we are seeing uh, a very healthy cooling off of the latest uh, bubbly uh, period, frothy. A, a frothy period. No Tom Fullery, please. And the, the uh, growth that we are going to see, the steady uptake of uh, features of value being delivered, not only from firms like Beyond to clients, but through those projects sure. to millions and tens and hundreds of millions of people, that is what is going to constitute the basis for, for the growth in 2022 and in further years to come. Come on, you could have said beyond and beyond. It's I okay. didn't on purpose. I'm, I know you didn't. So I want to give you a big congratulations. This is a fantastic team. I'm thrilled to see you two continuing to work together now that I know your history and know this is not something new. This is the band's back together again. I, I don't think the band ever broke up, but maybe no, you, were, of course. you had a couple of solo albums. <laughs> so, so, so this is great. So congratulations. Thank to you, you, Gordon. Fantastic. Well done. Thank you, Gordon. Well done. And everyone, thank you for joining us for Crypto Wednesdays. Thanks. All right.